Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be solving linear equations and it's going to be a two step process. So that means it's going to take two steps to get to the final answer. So first things first, what does it mean to solve a linear equation? To solve a linear equation, you have to find the unknown. In this case, the unknown is X. So we have to find out what number this X is equal to. And this is a pretty straightforward question. If you actually read it out, 2 multiplied by a number plus 10 gives us 38. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you out there could probably think of this number and get it right. However, we need to have a technique in order to find the answer, especially when it comes to more complicated problems. So let's begin. First things first, you have an unknown, x, and you have numbers attached to it. You have a 2 being multiplied to it and a a 10 being added to it. Your goal is to get the x to be isolated. You want to get the x on its own. So how is this achieved? It's very, very straightforward. You are allowed to change the equation as long as you do it in the proper way. So take a look at this. I know that this is plus 10. If I write down minus 10, so that means I'm going to change the left-hand side of the equation. All right, so I'm going to take away 10 from it. I know that it's going to cancel out this 10. However, in order to do this on the other side, I have to also minus 10. Now, this isn't going to cancel out the 38. It's just going to make it smaller. But remember, your main objective is to get the x on its own. So this, is, this side should be your primary focus. What's eventually going to happen is the right-hand side is going to get changed until it becomes the answer. Okay. So, the left-hand side, 2x plus 10, we're subtracting 10 from this. So, I'm going to apply it to the plus 10, and it's going to leave us with 2x on the left-hand side equals. And if we apply it from the right-hand side, it's going to leave us with 28. Okay, good. So, this is, you're one step closer to the solution. This is good. You have managed to eliminate the plus 10 from the 2x. Now, all you have to do is el eliminate the 2 and you should have your answer. So how is this 2 attached to the x? It's attached through multiplication. So what we're going to do, similar to the minus 10, we are going to do the opposite operation with the same no uh, number. So it's going to be, instead of multiplied by 2, we're going to do divided by 2. And we have to do it to the other side as well, divided by 2, OK? Um, so 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. So I think most of you might be thinking, okay, we can write 1x. You don't need to write 1x. You could just write x, and it's the same thing as 1x, okay? And actually, this is the preferred way of writing it. So then we have x, and on the other side, we have 28 divided by 2, which will give us 14. And this is your answer. The unknown is equal to 14. And if we put it back into the above equation, this is how you can actually check your answer. If you take your answer, which is x equals 14 in this case, and put it into the original equation. So we're going to have 2 multiplied by, and instead of x, I'm going to write my answer, which is 14, plus 10. And let's see what this gives us. 2 times 14 is 28, plus 10 is 38. So it works. So your answer is correct. And that's how you solve linear equations in two steps. Anyway, guys, I hope you've learned something from this. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Our next video is going to be solving linear equations with brackets. So definitely check that out if you want to see how that works. 